Ricky's down there taking a selfie, <laughs> trying to have a little memento of this occasion, the prestigious Pieting Club here. Um, so Becky is, uh, she's one of the new sales uh, consultants over at Truro Nissan. She's a new competitor this year. Um, and uh, however, I, I've been told that she's had some uh, expert training from some former contestants. Um, Tyson Bishop and Derek Sibley of True Nissan previously had participated in this competition over the last number of years, and and uh, so apparently they've nominated Becky to represent uh, the company this year. So let's hear for Becky. Let's All right, so this year we have a family connection here uh, at the table. Um, next up is Sarah Fleming. She's a youth outreach uh, coordinator with the um, Canadian Mental Health Association. Now, uh, Sarah's dad is in this competition. Uh, maybe I'll just jump right on down the, the table here to Deputy Chief uh, Jim Fleming here of the uh, Truro Police Service. Representing the Truro Police Service is uh, Deputy Chief uh, Jim Fleming. And uh, Jim, how many years ago has it been since you were in this competition? First year, I was here the first year. It was like one of the, it was one of the very, very first. first. The pie was frozen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was a little concern when they picked up the pies because they've been in the fridge throughout the afternoon, so they were a little cold. and. There's concern. I'm hoping these ones are, are not frozen. True story, one of our RCMP officers that participated in that very first competition shipped a tooth. Uh, <laughs> I had no idea they were frozen. Um, anyway, no worries. We're all going to be fine here this evening. Um, all right, so back, back in order. Um, so originally we, we thought we had the Skylar Blackie returning again. You may recall Skylar was one of our messiest fighters last year. Um, he's passing on the torch uh, to an up, another representative at the uh, uh, Truro Fire Service. And this year we have Cody Richardson. So Cody is the newest addition to the uh, Truro Fire Service. Now I'm told that he's a limbo champ. And I'm also told that he's a tug of war champ. And so he's looking to add piting to his list of championship titles. So we'll see how Cody does this evening um, representing the Truro Fire Service. All right, who do we have next? Jose, Jose. Jose. She, she was probably the most prepared contestant this evening, as you can see. She's got a coordinating uh, outfit with the uh, goggles and uh, her very own, uh, um, what do we call that, hiding poncho. Thank you, thank you. Um, so Jose, she's an Olympic weightlifter. Jose won first place at the New Brunswick Championships in February and then moved here uh, to Nova Scotia and soon after won the title of Nova Scotia's best female lifter. At Atlantic Cup, she was first and qualified for nationals and there, against the best in Canada, brought home another gold in the 53 kilogram female division. <laughs> Jose has now become an official member of the national team and will begin her international career in the upcoming year. Jose is also co-owner of CrossFit Blue Nose in Bible Hill. And I don't know if you got to look at Jose earlier, but it makes me kind of feel like I should hit back to the gym. I don't know, I'm feeling a little, little less of a man this evening, I'm not going to lie. All right, who do we have next in line here? Oh yes, no stranger to the table, our good friend Keith Gillis from G&G &G Computers. One of our local favorites. Now Keith Gillis, he's a three-time champion, fighting competition champion here. Last year, unfortunately, sadly, we shed a tear to Keith was dethroned, lost his streak, but he's he's a champ coming back with uh, Brave, and, and uh, apparently he's been training all, all summer for this. No pressure. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how uh, if uh, Keith can re regain his uh, his title again this year. That being said, next up. We have Chris Elgy from the Great British uh, Grub Woo! and also representing the Truro Farmers Market. Woo! 
and Chris Chris was a beast last year, and uh, yeah, he he won the competition last year, so he's looking to uh, build upon his build upon his fighting career and uh, take home the title this year once again. And if you haven't uh, checked out uh, the new establishment on uh, Prince Street, just, just get down there, he says. In fact, I think uh, Margaret's filling in yeah, for you over there. She said she'd go down there, yeah. <laughs> you're hoping she's filling in while you're here. <laughs> All right. So taking time out, thank you, uh, Chris, again for joining us. All right, next up is Fram. It's a little different name, but Fram Dinshaw. And Fram is uh, is with the Truro Daily News and uh, first time competitor. And um, just I'm gonna get Fram. Can you give a little welcome here? Good evening, everyone. I'm representing the Truro Net News for the first time, and I've been at the paper two months. Still quite new at this place, and I've already been roped into doing this fighting competition. So it's fairly. Uh, well, it's extra sweet. It looks, it smells pretty good. I can feel my stomach rumbling, ready to go. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, so I, I put the two Brits next to each other. I don't know if anyone noticed that. <laughs> All right. Who do, uh, we've already talked about uh, Deputy Chief Jim Fleming. Uh, and okay, here we go. Lindsay Burgess captured gold at the World Junior Women's Curling Championship. <laughs> Um, and uh, she, she's the cousin of curling teammate Carly Burgess, who competed in the pie eating contest in 2016. Yeah. And uh, Lindsay and her family are pretty uh, heavily involved in the wild blueberry industry as well. So there's a little extra stake in, in the uh, competition here <laughs> this evening for Lindsay. So we're grateful to have Lindsay with us this evening. A warm welcome to you as well. All right, so just before the competition, uh, this guy was talking to people in the in the parking lot. He almost took a uh, someone's pie, actually, just to be involved in the competition. Still warm. Still, still warm. It was still warm. Um, so this is this is Brandon Niles. Niles, did I get that right? Niles. Brandon Niles. Brandon is the the uh, big dog cat country cruiser guy for the summer. So you may have been listening to him all summer long. Doing a fantastic job uh, at that. Uh, he's going back to his last year uh, at the NSCC in Dartmouth, um, doing his uh, radio broadcasting. I'm not sure if I'm calling the program correctly. Radio broadcasting program. So he's been doing a great job for us, and we're happy to have him involved in the competition this evening as well. Um, yeah, what I was, I was saying, uh, he had an unofficial pie, and he was going to uh, work it into the competition, but. With Doug's absence, um, he uh, managed to uh, snag a, a, an official pie. So he's officially entered into the competition. Now he's a little bit stressed out because before it was just for fun, and now I'm just gonna take my time before it's my pie. Right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, no, no taking your time this time. All right. So the rules are, folks. You have two minutes. That's it. I'm going to get my trusty iPhone that I dropped in the parking lot a month ago and smash the... Uh, yeah. I'm going to get up my stopwatch here. So these folks have two minutes. Look at it. Look at it. The real competitors are already in position. They're, they're, they're focusing at the two minute mark. Faces come up. And the next step, we do a little bit of the Jeopardy theme song. We take the pause back. The lightest pie is the one that the person has eaten most pie from. Um, and declared the winner. Very sophisticated stuff here at the Wild Blueberry Pie Competition. Goggles on. Everybody's ready. No stuff. Everyone, yeah, you, you guys got to help judging and make sure that they're... Uh, so anything that goes out on the table gets scraped back into the, the plate. So there's no funny business here. All right. You guys can maybe help me out here and do a countdown. We'll do it from five. So, five, four, three, two, one, go! Do we have any front runners? Josie's not 
fooling around, I can tell you that right now. The longest two minutes of their lives, everybody, right here. <laughs> We've hit the halfway mark now. We have one minute left to go. This is where they really need to dig deep. Who do you think's gonna win? Is it here? Jose's not fooling around. Cody just might add pie eating to his list of uh, holy. Um, who do we have here? Sarah and Becky. Might be just a showdown. Try not to laugh. Laughing is not good in a fighting competition. You do not want that coming through us. And five, four, three, two, one, stop! Faces up! She looks kind of respectable here. She barely had the blueberry up the nose. Well, well, well. How was that, everybody? We'll, we'll announce fourth place and then a work our way from there. So, representing the ladies, fourth place overall, Jose Gallet. So that was fourth place. Third place. He's, uh, he's not going to be adding uh, pie eating to his list yet. However, third place is respectable and he's well on his way to uh, becoming a pie eating champion one day. Alright. So, second place. Well, folks, I can tell you one thing there will be a new champion this evening. Dashing Chris's hopes. <laughs> Chris from Great uh, Brit British, uh, I can't speak anymore. Great British Scrub is second place, which is very commendable. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to mention there was like one. I forgot to mention that between Cody and and uh, Jose, there was like one gram difference. So. Hardly, hardly uh, even a, almost, a, almost a tie for third, really. Thank you. All right, so what we really want to know is who is the new champion for 2018 Wild Blueberry Harvest Festival? Well, I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, he's no stranger to the title. Keith Gillis returns victorious. Third. This is his fourth. Championship title, and I'll tell you, nobody on this table has more wild blueberry swag than this guy. <laughs> He's nodding. He's good. I've got like ten blueberry shirts, blueberry hats, blueberry juice, because that is the prize for winning this. 